these air bubbles in here. Hello, hope you guys are doing well. If not, as always, I hope it gets better for you. So in today's video, we're gonna run through some quarantine, what's been going on there, quarantine and plants. There's a lot of tips in here. There's some fish in this video. I think some of you guys might find it useful. So let's jump into it. This will make good lids for my quarantine. Oh, he's nice out and about. I'm gonna get rid of these homemade tops. Easy. Put some on top of it. Yeah, that's why I got books. Yeah, that's a good book too. And if you didn't notice, I'm also using black tees here. My black background so they're not freaking out from the bottom. The light coming in and makes it feel a little more natural. Because they're just, they like to hide. They like to be in tight spaces. They do like some space too. Don't get me wrong. I've kept them as community fish as well. There's a lot of ways to keep them. I really, for these types of fishes, there's somebody breed them. For these types of fishes, hang it. Really, for these types of fishes, I'd rather somebody get them to breed them. That's the emphysema. Ogiens. Alright, it's mostly dry. Let's cut this thing. Put this down so the concrete doesn't scratch it. Granted, I could just cut it this way, 14 inches up, boom, get my 48 real quick. I don't want all those slots right in the front and the back from where I feed. That food will get into them, cause a lot of trouble. So I'm making sure to go on with the edge. Less open holes that way. Uh, you could use a box knife or if you get some man scissors, definitely recommend these. These things make life easy on all kinds of things. Now cutting long way is actually a lot easier with the box knife here. Flip it over. Now for the rest, before and after. That just looks and feels a lot more better. And then the pan checks all lit up. Now for this rack, should definitely collect these babies because there's a chance with the color. Could possibly be maculosis. Oh, that's not gonna be easy. Little stinkers trying to eat them now. I only got like a couple in there, so what I'll do is I'll pour water back in. And at least stay at the bottom. Make sure I don't pour them out. Ooh, no. Ooh, ooh, no. Then into the bigger container. Here they go. Now I can reuse this. I'm taking all the water, but siphoning the fish. As I go slower, the more I could collect. Now see, I was more patient that time. Instead of trying to rush it. How many I got? I'm not even gonna bother trying to empty that and go right in. Cause I could always empty this. This guy's trying to eat him. Hey, knock it off. Did manage to get quite a few. Awesome. And you know I gotta give them their fish bath. On the rack they go. And I split them up in three, I had 10. So we got three, three, and four. They're searching around looking for little fiddles here and there. And being small containers, kind of why I'm splitting them up, but at the same time, I'm gonna want them in different groups because I'm gonna breed them in different groups. That way this group can breed genetics, this group can breed genetics. And if I need to mix them later, I'll have different groups with different genetics. Gotta keep that gene pool deep. I'm breeding fish. And just like the rice fish, bathed and rinsed and split the endlers up into different groups. 
with the oranges the same. So we got four and three. And with these Yohiki orange Medecas, you can see there's a few that are silvery white and they're in some are just orange because the orange Medecas are hard to breed true. But I'm gonna go ahead and separate those white ones from the orange ones. Then you can really see the color difference. I'm gonna separate them sooner and later. Got me some of this. Boy, Eddie D Aquatics gave me some of this. Rotalia Waliti, or however you pronounce that. Let me get those, I need to get those roots planted. Do it. Ooh, it's gonna get messy. Definitely need to rinse it though. It's a little cloudy, just a little bit. You could just float it. I figure this might be better, I don't know. Living room ain't a living room unless you got a sandcrete in it. Clearing it up. That's some dirty sand. I don't usually use this stuff. Clean cold in though. That's looking better. Look at that's already trying to pop up. See how it's bunched up too? Being all fine leaf. I'm going to untwine this. Give it more room to spread. Actually should move this into the middle. Just give it a little slide here. Slide to the left. Now let's uncrisscross. Yeah, that should be better. Out of here now, but it'll settle. Okay, I'm gonna set it with the rest of these because these blue CFLs are great for these kind of plants. All right, quarantine update. They're all underneath that. Fish are good. Here they go. They're up underneath the thing. Everybody did good from the Triple Crown. And some big old blue glass in here. Doing good. Yeah, they're doing good. I'm trying to breed some of these killifish. No time to feed them. But I gotta start moving some of these into the fish room so I could start putting plants in there from what I got from the club meeting. Time to start moving things. As you can see, it's been no filter. Threw in catapa leaves for antifungal, antibacterial, then some plants, which a lot of these plants were covered in algae. But with the ambient light now, you can see there's not so much algae. Let's kind of see how it's dying off here. Plants are still growing though. Just go ahead and clear this out here. Freak out, guys. And some of you were lucky to get these. These are Melanotania Goldii Kiros. Kept some for myself as well. I had gotten so many of them, I had to share. And thank you for those who supported and bought them. Got it nice and cleaned out, because I'm actually gonna, after I take these fish, put sand in here and throw some plants in. All right, got all those moved here. I still got some loose appendix in here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Well, there's Wesley, he's flying in. But I went ahead and whirlpooled this tub, got all that mulm and poo in one spot. That way I can turkey baste it out and then we can throw some sand in there and get some plants planted. And since I got a septic filled, I can put some in my tub. If you're in city water, don't recommend that, but I'm gonna have to fill this up, quarantine some plants. Now, if I was just putting fish or anything else in here, it'd be all right. I wouldn't even bother, but taking this out will help battle algae. All right, got some sand here for inside. Sift all the crud out. Left with all this nice, fine goodness. It's nice. It's free dirt. Very nutrient rich, too, because it's got nature in it. All right, got the sand. I'm going to get all these snails off the bottom here because I don't want them rotting and dying underneath the sand. All right, nice and clean. Ah, uh, good soup. Ooh, don't tell Sarah. I'm going to tell any other people. Oops. That's super muddy, though. Look at these air bubbles over here. Let that settle. All right, I gotta go get some more paint. So let that simmer down and then we'll plant it later. The plants are doing good in here. As you can see, I had to use some forks and a bath stopper to weigh this sedge down. But this is a good another way to get it clean before it goes in too. 
processing wise. And it gets a lot of natural ambient light, which is that's perfect for these guys. Wish I could just put sand in here and call it a day. And to clear some of that mud out of there, I ended up removing a bunch of the water with a container. And then when I refilled, I stuck this thing in there. Then it didn't kick the sand up everywhere. And then the next day I did have a clear environment. Cause I used that, I diluted the murkiness from the water, then used that to make sure that way whenever I filled up, the water all spilled around on the edges and just kind of went around the top instead of falling to the bottom and kicking everything up. That's how you cleared that up. But as you can see, it looks different now. But stay tuned, I'm gonna have more for you on this quarantine section, try to knock this out and catch you guys all the way up with what's been going on in here. And with every gray room should come a quarantine room as well. And if you like that video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, cause there's gonna be all kinds of cool, crazy stuff coming down the pipeline. Plus I got the build videos of the fish room, fish barn that should be coming here soon. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.